Okie dokie, so we have yet another one. Um, that is actually now a three phase motor, and I do not have three phase, so I have to either get a VFD or build one. <laughs> I actually have the parts to build one, but yeah, that's project of the future. Um, or I'm going to rewire it for single phase. So let's see, maybe I can rewire it for single phase for the time being. <clears throat> maybe. Because, like, we have here the, the bar, it's in star, I think. So these three wires are the centers of each coil, and those are so those are wired in one block, and you have one, two, three for the three phases, so you have a star wiring. Um, <coughs> I already removed the thing, the cover here, and uh, this was on the front. So I can now remove the front plate. Um, when it came, it didn't sound so bad on the bearings. But then I spun it around a bit, and now it sounds like this. Not great. So, yeah, <laughs> those bearings have to be replaced. I think it's only the, the back bearing, though. Because the front one doesn't make much noise, which is strange. But I'm gonna get both of them out and see uh, which one I have to replace, or if it's just both. So, yep, I'm gonna take this apart now. Okay, so took the front off and it looks great inside there's like no dirt in here whatsoever nope nothing <laughs> no dirt so that's great um, I measured the windings before I took it apart so um, does this look like a kink here yeah tiny bit <laughs> they but they are fine they all measure I uh, what was it 5.9 or 4.9 ohms I think 4.9. One of them measures like 4.85, 4.9, something like that. But I guess that's just because I just measured on these plates and there's just some resistance from somewhere. So, or less, I don't know. Um, anyway, the, the windings are okay. So it isn't burned, it's just the bearings. Now this one, now it runs fine, but sometimes it makes a noise. Not really audible, but it, you can feel it like turn, so it, it's a bit loose. Not, ah, yeah, even in this direction, up and down, that's not good. So I have to replace both of them, and I hope that in this case they're both the same, <laughs> uh, unlike this one. Uh, by the way, I ordered a bearing, and. I had to settle for a different number on the bearing because the one that was in here is some very special one that isn't used anywhere else and I would have to order it from China uh, from AliExpress at what did I think I pay it was nine no eight dollars ninety five for ten pieces shipped so basically 90 cents per piece and then I bought found the different ones and I bought them for I think 5 euros and 10 cents for four pieces so yes they're a bit more expensive but they're gonna be here either Saturday or Monday so I can <laughs> fix that thing <clears throat> but now I also have to order these I mean, you can even see it move, I think. Yeah, so both bearings are shot. Um, but, I mean, it's to be expected when you buy such a thing for super cheap. Although, I don't know why they didn't repair it. Either they really didn't need it, they just... Well, took it out of service, had it uh, in there somewhere outside. Like, looking at this, it was outside. There was some dirt in here and a few dead insects, so I guess they just put it outside for 
uh, it to rot and then they finally sold it uh, because they didn't know if it was still good but it's just the bearings yes I know it takes a lot of time to take those apart in my case this was rather quick because now I have this amazing bearing puller and I could pull the thing off uh, although I had to employ a bit of help because <laughs> the thing in the middle wasn't long enough to reach all the way through um, so I luckily still had this piece of steel left over from my school days where we had a uh, metal working and this one was too short so I had it left over <laughs> and I kept it for many many years and now it made sense so I could put it here as an extension and pull the thing off <clears throat> so that's nice um, I don't know if I can pull the bearing off because the windings are pretty close here and if I look at the bearing puller eh, doesn't fit <laughs> I'm gonna make it fit though can probably just put it in here, turn it over, and then put in the next one. <clears throat> so I'm gonna. Next thing I do is remove the fan here at the back, and uh, that has a compression ring on there that has to get a, uh, has to be removed. And I can try pulling that off, and then I can take the back off, and I can take the rotor out. And actually, yes, <laughs> I plan on taking the rotor. Why do I even try to put that here? So yeah, I just take the rotor out <coughs> and then I can remove the bearings, get new bearings, put them back in and then we have a three-phase motor that I can't drive. Um, <laughs> at least not now, so yep, let's uh, disassemble the back. Okay, got the, the fan off, there were two compression rings, one to keep it from bouncing into the motor and one to keep it from coming off. There's also a keyway. this side um, and something I want to show you is uh, how this motor has slots for screwdrivers to be jammed in so you can remove the backing plate <coughs> because this one is under really really tight uh, and thanks to these spaces here you can easily pry that off Ta -da! So this is apparently the other bearing that has strange noise. Let's see. <laughs> yep, that bearing is even more shot than the one on the front. Let's get that off. Okay, I <laughs> need two hands for that. Let's just put you here. Okay, apparently it doesn't want to come off that easy, I'm just going to slide out the rotor. And there we go. Yep. Back bearing is still seated, so... I mean, you can see it in here. There's still a bearing. That is quite loose. Okay, so I'm going to get this off, get the bearings off, or the new ones, and then we can put it back together. Well, bearings are off. Both of them over here, so I have to order new ones and put those back on. The problem is, the front one has a pretty tight press fit. The back one um, is not as tight, or wasn't as tight when I got it off, but um, Maybe you can see there is no difference between the outer shaft and the inner one where the bearing is sitting. So I have to shove it over the whole length here and here only over this short length down here. But this one is a quite stiff press fit so I don't know how I'm going to do this without a hydraulic press. And I'm probably not going to get one <laughs> right now because you see there is no space. There is too much shit on here. I really have to stop getting new projects and start working on the old ones but it's so tempting to make new ones because these ones are finished pretty fast just replace the bearings and yay but yeah <clears throat> the only thing I have to do is uh, uh, that I really worry about is getting that bearing back on um, these like 
big washer thingies are uh, bearing guards I guess that prevent any debris from the bearings to enter the house of the motor um, and the bearings are shielded then you have this from out here so there's only the shaft poking through um, then the bearing then this and then you are inside the motor so yeah <clears throat> it took me a bit to get the, the the bearing housing off the back one because well for the front one I just pulled it off it wasn't that tight on there the back one was on there a bit more tighter um, but yeah got the bearings off so I can now uh, get new ones and repair that motor